Well, we continue with New Zealand for today. We're going to look at the population and also geographic position. And I'm going to make uh, the next video immediately after this one about how actually uh, life looks in New Zealand. We're going to look at uh, Google Earth and street map and see how exactly uh, streets are looking there, houses and all that good stuff. Now, let's go back to the population. Around 2025, 20, let's say they have uh, 5.2 million people you're gonna see here they are on up trajectory but also the growing rate is pretty much all over the place uh, we're gonna see they actually gonna go down in a recent time and gonna see where well, they're gonna probably gonna land now back in the past uh, 1955 2.1 2.2 million people now 5.2 million then they have a growing rate about 2.3 percent now it's 0 0.70 percent uh, yearly change back then 45,000 people net change increase now is 37,000 increase migration then 7.8 uh, let's say 8 let's go with 8,000 people now it's around 18,000 people median age 27 now is 37 so we're gonna see 10 years already increase fertility rate back then 3.8 now it's 1.65 and they got below replacement around 1995 with uh, 1.98 back then and you can see clearly a decreasing in the fertility rate but also an increase in, um, <clears throat> in uh, I would say in, in migration compared with uh, 1955 uh, also the urban area that people living there back then it was around 75 percent now it's 85 percent let's say so clearly and that must change it but you're gonna see the island it is pretty much uh, not huge i would say but also uh, a lot of them are in the mountains so it makes sense that a lot of people are just gonna uh, go in a city to live now 1955 doesn't matter that much but the global rank was 110 and now it's 126 so uh, clearly a decrease but not a huge one i would say now in the future in 2050 it's going to be around 5.7 million people which is not that much of the change i would say but still a slightly increase let's call it but yearly change is going to go down to the 0 0.2 percent and also the net change is going to be around 10,000, 11,000 people so we're going to see even that uh, actually decreasing even with uh migration let's say above the native population so we're going to see actually the native population probably even by now uh, and when i say native population i'm going to say those people who are already born there and uh, you're gonna see they're actually going down so probably the native population even right now uh, you're gonna see they are probably struggle i don't think they are exactly on the minus so still the migration uh, plays some part but not a huge one but probably in the future 100 percent the migra uh, migration is going to be uh, above the native population that's going to have that uh, net increase but also probably by 10 to 2050 you're gonna see the decrease in population i don't think the new zealand is gonna hit six million people so probably gonna stay around five and then we're gonna go down like uh, everybody else let's say median age 42 years old so not a huge change compared with the 37 38 right now but still they're going older it's uh, something well no fertility rate they say is gonna stay pretty much the same probably that gonna go below 1.2 1.3 around that probably is gonna be and also the urban population is gonna hit 90 percent so again most of the people already live in an urban area but in the future not that much is gonna change so they're gonna stay that way now life expectancy in new zealand is one of those countries when the life expectancy is very high 82 years for both sexes 84 for females and 84 males so huge huge uh, life expectancy there infant mortality is 3.6 and death under age of 5 4.5 actually they are a bit of more than I expected, so I don't know. But you, in New Zealand, I thought for a second uh, they have a great medical system, but clearly they have uh, room to improve, uh, improve there. And now, uh, what I want to look here very quickly, gonna see I make another video of exactly how actually those people living in those area and how exactly it's gonna uh, translate that in a life. Uh, weird things here. That everybody talks about why they don't have a bridge. Well. I don't think they make that sense for them to just have a bridge between the Northern Island and Southern Island. And also, what is interesting about New Zealand, it's not exactly a very small country. I mean, look at this. It is pretty much the same as, uh, let's say, the, the average European one, I would say. And uh, they are pretty much on, at the end of the world with Australia also. But New Zealand, uh, all I start is just uh, this paradise on the earth. And they still have the same problem, like I said, with Australia, especially with the pandemic when they have those locks down. Now, 
There are not that many people in New Zealand and you're gonna see the population pretty much plateau, I would say, because 5.2 million to, uh, in 2050, 5.7 is pretty much nothing and probably that is gonna go down because look at this, we have this yearly change and you know, going down. Probably by the end of the century, they're gonna go below 4 million, uh, maybe even less than that. So clearly there's a lot of room uh, to fill up in this uh, in this land, but still, for some reason, when you say New Zealand is pretty much you say paradise on earth when you say about the landscape, uh, they still struggle with that. And uh, I think a lot of people now I sustain that the money is one of those main reasons, first reason that uh, people don't have uh, many kids or at all. But uh, the second one, I would say even those bureaucracy, because when you live in those uh, highly developed countries, they have so much bureaucracy. And uh, I would say even from my my perspective here, uh, when you have that much uh, people and you're not going to have that many kids because, uh, like I said, the government pretty much infiltrates and uh, try to regulate every aspect of their people's lives. And I think in New Zealand it's the same story here and that's why in developed countries, one of the reasons, even they have the great medical system and all that good stuff, um, they still struggle with that. And I would say that's probably a main reason, in my opinion, main reason, the second main reason, first one is money, obviously. Uh, I would say the problem with the population uh, degrowth or going down in the most Western countries, even with, uh, like I say, probably the migrants policy in New Zealand is very tough. That's why they can, uh, don't, can assimilate that many people, I would say, but that's not a solution also, in my opinion, you have to, pretty much motivate your own people to have kids and uh, New Zealand like I said has a great climate I would say nice uh, nice weather and uh, with, with all that and pretty much uh, far away from any war I would say also um, and with all that they still cannot manage to convince their population to have uh, let's say a replacement birth rate at least so that's why I think the population actually will go down. It's not uh, bad, I would say, also, because New Zealand, like I said, the less people we have, especially with the economic system, that's going to change. Uh, the less people we have used to be, at least in the back, the, have the less bureaucracy and uh, not that many uh, rules. But uh, for New Zealand, it feels like uh, they can do much better than they actually do. So that's uh, something weird about them, because, like I say, if you're born in Australia, usually, or New Zealand, you pretty much say you hit the jackpot, <laughs> a great country to live. But uh, we can saw we saw in the recent years, especially in the pandemic years with the lockdown, which I think they kind of drag them back a lot. Um, they uh, pretty much shows that uh, they don't have that much respect for freedom and just uh, they are pretty much a left state, a radical left ones. But uh, that's politics and I don't want to involve in that. So yeah, the next video, uh, I'm going to upload it really soon. Uh, we're gonna just look about we look, look at the Google Street View and gonna see exactly how actually people are living there and how it looks, and uh, we're gonna explore pretty much everything about New Zealand I can find, so we can actually have a good image how exactly they live there, and um, we'll uh, see exactly why uh, don't uh, people don't you know, have exactly that many that many kids because I believe you can see that even in, uh, in architecture of the country and in economics. And uh, we're going to talk about that uh, in the next video.